sounding it's sounding like it's gonna start off good and it's gonna somehow turn into some creepy nightmare okay. <laughs> that water looks so fake one somehow finds a way to turn creepy i'm like I was a kid i'm um, never wanted to go to a beach after watching that again you some of you guys are watching jaws when you were eight so what did i expect like all right guys i feel a gen z brit a very curious man is gonna be checking out some 1970s kid shows or to be more specific some sid and marty croft intros right you guys ever checked these guys out before i only heard some of you guys telling me to check them out so i tried to find some clips that i could find on youtube of some of their most popular intros um i am gonna probably most likely not be able to post the full reaction on youtube so if you guys want to get the full unedited raw reaction of my uh reactions to this then check out the patreon it'll be linked in the description i'll post it on there and of course you'll get all of that and more of some of the, all the other things i can't post on youtube so like some of my um music reviews as well as some 980 sitcoms that i've been checking out so if you if that interests any of you guys then you're also going to get that for those of you guys wondering but yeah for those guys on youtube i probably will have to edit and chop down some of these and mute things here and there because anytime you post stuff to do with music it's just ah. Oh, it's a headache man and I, i'll be completely honest like i can't be asked to film a video just for it to just get blocked or copyrighted and it's just long so definitely check out the patreon uh, it'll be great to support the channel and to be honest that's where all the the, the, the raw stuff is at so if you guys want to get all of these reactions and you love my content and more thanks for checking out the patreon but guys with that being said don't forget to subscribe subscribe turn on the notifications and of course like the video because don't forget to like the video because that goes a long way and of course i've got a music channel that you can check out for all of my music reactions to some 1970s classics from the beatles from the Bee Gees, elvis presley led zeppelin look the list goes on the carpenters guys um and yeah guys but with that being said look let's get straight into this video let's go Okay. Are those like dogs? Uh, <laughs> yo, this is like, whoa. That's actually funny. <laughs> yo, so much enthusiasm. I like. I'm trying to figure out if they're like dog. They look like dogs to me, but it says, uh, yeah. They're bananas. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was a very charismatic and chaotic intro that um <laughs> catchy catchy song though. I'm sure you guys would have been loving that one as kids. But yeah, so this is what you guys are watching. I think this is the outro now. <laughs> all right not bad not bad listen I'm, I'm i'm impressed so far of what i've seen of what uh they were able to do but in terms of what i was watching it was like very chaotic very chaotic and a lot of was going on in that but let's go into the next one and, and it says the, the thing was about bananas as well like banana split opening so i'm seeing a bunch of dogs i don't know if they're characters i don't know they don't look like bananas i don't think i saw a banana Unless I'm just being blind here. Hey, Char, pop and step. Okay. Who's your friend when things get rough? Hey, Char, pop and step. Can't do a little cause you can't do enough. Once upon a summer um. time, just a dream from yesterday. A boy in this magic golden flute. He's heard a book from on He's the bay. Come and play with me, Jimmy. Come and play with me. Island. And I will take you on a trip. Across the sea. Okay. He's ran down from a mountain to go on the boat with a flute in his hand. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm guessing that's his character. But the boat belonged to a cookie or witch who had in mind the flute to snatch. Okay. Watched her plans materialize. Oh. She waved her wand. The beautiful boat was gone. The skies grew dark. The sea grew rough, and the boat sailed on and on and on. So, which of she is? 
But up and stuff was watching too And knew exactly what to do He saw the witch's bold attack And as the boy was fighting back He called his rescue racer crew As often they'd rehearsed And off to save the boy they flew But who would get there first? But now the boy had washed the show Up alive to save the day Which made the witch so mad and sore She shook her fist and screamed away That's dirt. It's your problem stuff. Here's your bed when things get rough. It's our problem stuff. Can't do a little bit. Yeah, these yeah. intros are so catchy, man. HR pop and stuff. Um, you know, he's there to save you when things get rough along them lines. And it's to say these shows, they these like intros look a lot like 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 for for the fact that kids are watching this is interesting to me because when I think of kids shows today, like you know, like a Teletubbies, Number Jacks. Like, they're a lot, first of all, they're a lot more kind of, I feel like they're a lot more PG rated. Like, this kind of is a bit, um, like, I can see kids, I can see kids getting creeped out of that. Like, even the puppets are, like, kind of creepy looking. Like, that that doesn't look like a friendly puppet. Like, he's coming here to save the day. Like, if that kid, puppet came to save me, I'll be like, yo, like, <laughs> maybe I'd rather stay in this, in this pool fighting for my life here. Because you don't look like you're about to rescue me, HR puff and stuff. Yeah, like, kid shows nowadays, like, you know, Spongebob, Paw Patrol, Adore, Adore the Explorer, Peppa Pig in these big in the UK, like, yeah, man. Like, none of those, none of those, like, there's so much, I feel like, kid more kid-friendly now with the ones that I'm just thinking about, like, yeah. Wow. Oh my the way they've just made that rock expand right there. Oh my god, what is that like? How did they do that? Like how did they is that like a green screen? How did they do that? Yo, that okay <laughs> that water looks so fake. But you know what I hear it though, like this is probably good for back in the day. Like this is actually what's good stuff. Obviously, like with hindsight now looking back at you know how much things have progressed, like to see what it was like is actually funny to me. I, I can imagine if I was a kid in the 1970s, this would be really cool. On the routine expedition. <laughs> but I'm looking at this, I'm like Like the way those rocks move the part is hilarious. Of the land. To the land of the lost. Okay. Oh. A diamond. Come on. Right. What? Get out of here. Oh. What in the Indiana Come Jones? Some scary movie, like what's going on? They literally just were running away from a dinosaur that was trying to bite them. Like, how were you watching it as kids? Like, if it wasn't for this, like, kind of upbeat, more jovial theme song playing in the background, you like if there was if this was muted, I would think this is a horror show. Like, this has got a whole dinosaur that's screaming and and they're literally running for their lives. So. Yeah, so when it comes to things that were kid-friendly back in the day, it seems like things were a lot more loose and, you know, not as strict. Because I don't know, I don't feel getting away with that today, man. But... In the middle of the summer, in the middle of a park, there began a great adventure for a boy whose name was Mark. He had come to The way this is already sounding, it sounded like it's going to start off good and it's going to somehow turn into some creepy nightmare. Began a great adventure for a boy whose name was Mark. He had come to see the magic man 
along with all the children, and twas so began the day that Mark was never to forget. Oh. He performed all sorts of miracles, and Mark was so impressed that when the time arrived to go, he lagged behind the rest. Okay. Then quietly he did return the secret of the hat to learn, but everyone had gone away, and darkness held a threat. The moment that he touched the hat, the room began to glow. Okay. And as he put it down and ran, the hat began to grow and 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 grow. He was stunned and he was fascinated. Still, he had to see there was something deep inside the hat. Of course, he's fascinated. If if I saw a hat growing, I'm running, bro. I'm not going there to check out what exactly it is so I can get freaking bitten by some next crazy supernatural monster or some or, or get abducted by some magical alien like <laughs> fascinated still he had to see there was something deep inside the hat what could that something be then cautiously each step he took he climbed upon the brim to look and all at once the hat began to shake and rock look out bruh what did he think was gonna happen <laughs> Yo. Spinning, turning, <coughs> whirling, twirling, down, down. down. And when he looked into the skies, he couldn't believe his ears. Another wish? Let's fill us a cookie, cookie, yes, let's fill us a kick, 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 kick. Okay, that made no sense. Like, I thought he was about to just get, like, completely tortured by some random witch that spawned out of nowhere in some magical, like, like, this is literally what you do, you would think is happening in your dreams. Like, I feel like this intro reminds me of, like, dreams that I had when I was a child. And I don't, I wouldn't call them good ones. I'll say that. And when he looked into the skies, he couldn't believe his ears or eyes. Let's fill us a cookie, cookie, yes, let's fill and then they just start Brit like dancing and stuff like he said loot like Litzville is a cuckoo cookie so I'm guessing I'm getting this like some crazy town because I can't even make sense of what just happened there like why are they dancing now how's that for a topper and that just came out of an eye like this okay kid shows yeah this is these are kid, like this is actually hilarious to me um you guys gotta let me know some of the stories that you had when you was watching this because like wow this is so much different from what i was uh, anticipating man but then, but then again like i already like I, then again is it because back in the day things were so much more just you some of you guys are watching jaws when you were eight so what did i expect like I, this is actually on brand of what i was expecting it's definitely going to be a lot more just wayward because <laughs> what was flying back in the day man let me tell you a tale a very scary tale about two boys who were surfing one day on a very weird beach round dead man's point where there are haunted sea caves they say okay, sure. and strange sea monsters have been sighted there if you're traveling in the area beware beware, beware, beware. bro again what is Nick, that you're a rotten sea monster you're a disgrace to the family Go out and scare a human or get through. Oh, come on, come on. Yo, I'm seeing a sea monster literally just get evicted from his household. He's literally getting disowned right now unless he goes out and scares some people. And they look so creepy, man. Like, what is what is this stuff? Go out and scare a human this is, or get through. Like, you guys were actually watching this as kids. Like, this is shocking to me. This is actually shocking. But this is like, like I said, I'm still having to fathom this is normal for you guys. Like, this is probably like not fun, not scary for you guys grace to the family go out and scare a human or you're through oh come on come on meanwhile back on the beach johnny and scott are combing the rocks unaware that behind them sigma alert prepared to give them a shot boo in total surprise the boys eye this blob what can it be and then it groans and moves and lo, it's a monster from the sea. Yeah. Now Sigma and the sea monster and Johnny and Scott are friends. The finest friends that ever could be on the land or on the sea. <laughs> now Sigma and the with sea monster and Johnny and Scott are friends. Wow. The finest friends that ever could be on the land or on the sea. 
Yeah, he better not go back to his household because he's friends with the humans now. So there's people inside of those pockets, right? I'm guessing. <laughs> How's that? They literally just got jump scared. The kids just got jump scared. Like, like oh gosh. Okay. Talk about never wanting to go to a beach ever again after seeing that. Yeah, if I was a kid, I'm never wanting to go to a beach after watching that again, man. <laughs> I promise. I promise you, I would not want anything to do with a beach. The, okay, how they put that together, I'm pretty sure they got like a, a car on a stick flying it. Supposed to be that's supposed to be a flying car. Wait, let me see this again. <laughs> Yo, how they did animations back in the day is so funny. That's because that just less that looks so bad compared to what I have today. But obviously, back in the day, I'm assuming this was good. So they, I don't know how they've done this as well. It looks like, I don't know if they've got like a another green screen or they've got like a car on a stick and someone's sitting behind it to make it look like they're on the, like, I don't know how to explain this. Like, but it's, it's, it's good for what it is. That I yeah, <laughs> yeah. Times have changed, man. Because that looks so bad. It looks so bad. Like quality. Like in terms of what they were doing, like effects wise and like um green screen and stuff. Like fair play though. Is you know what? Like that was. I feel like that's good for the time it was. But yeah, that car does not even look remotely real. Like the intro. The bugaloos, the bugaloos. Okay. Now, if this one somehow finds a way to turn creepy, I'm like, pfft, yeah, <laughs> I'll be shocked. Cause this one so far is sounding kind of fun and 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 jolly, jolly, jolly. <laughs> That character is interesting. The bugaloos, the bugaloos, we're in the air and everywhere. Right, okay. That seems to be it. Um, yeah, you know, it reminds me of like uh what was this show I used to watch like called uh the tween like this this Daphne or oh, not not Scooby Doo, is this girl that Sporticus <laughs> Lazy Town, okay see you know, it reminds me of like shows like Lazy Town, right? Like that I used to watch back in when I was a kid. And that, like the evil person in that was, was like this guy that was like the, the Robbie Rotten guy. And he wasn't like, he was like, he was kind of scary, but like that's, that's the caliber of scary character that we had back in the day. And when I was young. So to see kind of what you guys had, the scary cat, like there was like the scary dinosaur. Like and and because of the CG, like the what do you call it, the green screens or whatever. I was gonna say CGI, but that's not that. Would you guys wouldn't have have had CGI like that in it? But it's like, from what you guys were able to do, like it looks too, it looks so real to the point where like it's actually scary. Like, <laughs> but look, that's been me being a Jezza Brick, checking out what uh ninety seventy kids shows are like. And to be honest, can I say I was shocked? I'm not shocked. Like you guys definitely had some scarier things. You were exposed to a lot more when you were young. So this is just basically on brand of what I was expecting, but definitely something that I would not let my kid check out today, okay? Because that is wild. Um, but yeah, and a lot of them were catchy. 
I like them. A lot of them were catchy theme songs that I'm sure we can get stuck in your head. Like that first one, the banana split one, that one was a very catchy theme song. But guys, look, if you made it to this point, guys, look, comment on a blue heart so I know who my was. Do you know what? Comment on any heart. Do you know what I'm saying? Comment on any heart because, you know, this is just... Just, just comment on whatever you feel. Like, all hashtag flexer so I know you made it to this point. Um, shout out to all you guys. You guys are real ones. I love you guys. Make sure again. Um, hopefully I was able to upload a lot of them on YouTube. If not, um, I hope you guys managed to enjoy whatever I was uploading on YouTube. And for those that are watching on Patreon, you know what I'm saying? You guys get any exclusive, man. That's why I'm telling you why. This is where it's at, man. This is where it's at. But look, guys, as always, look, I'm your boy J Flick. This has been me checking out some uh, Sid and Marty Croft intros. And for those of you guys who made this point, you guys have been absolutely wonderful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.